I think we can be in a constant state of prayer, praying to God. Not praying for others, not praying in general is a sin. Prayerlessness is a sin. Because God has commanded us to pray. He commanded us to pray. Oswald Chambers said, For whom am I withholding God's blessing by failing to pray for them? It's our fault when others don't get blessed because we're not praying for them. In 1 Samuel 12, 23, Moreover, as for me, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you. John R. Rice said, My greatest sin and yours is prayerlessness. The lack of souls saved in my ministry is primarily because of a lack of prayer, not because of a lack of preaching. The withering away of joy in my heart sometimes is the fruit of prayerlessness. My indecision, my lack of wisdom, my lack of guidance come directly out of prayerlessness. All the times I have fallen into sin, have failed in my duties, have been bereft of power or disconsolate for lack of comfort, I can charge to the sin of prayerlessness. He says this, it just struck me, my failures are all prayer failures. We need to pray more. We need to pray more. This is how we communicate with God. This is how we commune with Him. And this is a command. So to not pray, to not be intimate with our Lord, is a sin. And so we need to get right before God. I think a lot of us abide in this sin of prayerlessness. I think we're so quick to run to another source for answers as opposed to go directly to the throne of grace. We need God in our lives. He has spoken to us through His Word, and we speak to Him through prayer. How desperate are you to speak to God?